Team from Athens. Uh, I'm here, Vance Levy here with Greg Poole. Greg, first of all, uh, what classes did you end up getting? <laughs> Believe me, they don't want me to register. <laughs> it is kind of fun, you know, we had our summer off, you know, we got the roads were nice and tame, but it is it is fun when you start seeing the students back and uh, more than anything it signifies uh, the season is right around the corner and as of yesterday fall camp is as it, you know I've heard Kirby you know he 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 considers fall camp the time between you know when practice starts and then when school starts, school starts right so uh, what are you what, what are your takeaways from fall camp well, you know, we, we've only seen about uh, right. 10 minutes a day max, but, uh, and it's the, the start of practice every day, which, right. is, which is what they call the indie drills. And, but you can see the position groups and see what's going on. And the main takeaway is this team is loaded with talent. There right. is talent everywhere at every position, and it's deep. It's at least 3D, it, pretty much everywhere. And you Except know, except, yeah. <laughs> well, but you know, that's what I was about to tell you. You know, we, as everyone out there, you know, you hear things from people that are lucky enough to go to the scrimmages. Yes. Uh, we just had a scrimmage this past weekend. Uh, I think one of the things I've heard around and seen around is uh, Stetson Bennett had a great day, apparently. Uh, I think that should give Bulldog Nation uh, a lot of comfort that, uh, you know, Barring something bad happen, there, uh, there there's ample support there, and then other young name, Nakobe Dean, I think mm -hmm. is, you know, getting some real action, you know, really in ones and good. two, and yeah, you know, and then oh, we were joking about the wide receivers. Of course, we've all seen the one arm grab, but uh, as I've reminded you, one 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 arm grab does not make you have a bunch of experience and. Talk a little bit about those the, the newbies. Well, at wide at receiver. Wide receiver. Yeah. Well, that, the the kid from um, um, what's his name? Number one. Pickens. Pickens. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Yeah. No, no, no. That's all right. And he's like, right yeah. now. He's wearing eighty three, right? Well, at practice. But yeah. actually, I I posted his eighty three on Instagram the other day, and he responded saying, oh, "I'm only wearing that at practice." Gotcha. <laughs> so. Gotcha. So um, uh, he will be wearing number one, but gosh, he looks good. I mean, he's mature for a freshman, and he's got all the tools. He's not real fast, but uh, he he, uh, he can get up and get the ball, and that's that's signified by that that one arm catch that he made. And that's not the first time he's done that. There's all kinds of film of him in in practices and from high school and in camps doing the same thing. And then, you know, one thing that I think is an obvious difference between last year's core versus these new guys is, you know, on the on the negative side, there's no, you know, experience. No. On the positive side, the height and the just pure athleticism is, yeah. is you know, we're nothing against the guys last year, but we were small. Yeah. I mean, like height-wise, we, we were, we you know, when you think back, mm -hmm. You know, Miko. I mean, not a big guy. You know, uh, Godwin, not a big guy. So now I think that's that's an asset. But as I said, I, I do warn everyone: one big catch does not make a a, a, a well experienced team. And as you were saying before we came on the air, was it's a good thing that we have the you know the way the schedule sets up, yeah. uh, you know, and that's not taking away you know Vanderbilt's going to be a great challenge, but I, I think it's a real asset to let those guys have some time and timing with Fromm. Yeah, if they unless something weird happens, they should beat Vandy, and they should be able to play a lot of people in that game, and that's going to be very important for the wide receivers. And then they have two what are now called cup, cupcakes after that, uh, although Arkansas State is probably not going to be as much of a pushover as people think. Yeah, absolutely. Good, yeah. good little program, but uh, they are a smaller program. So, But anyway, yeah, the wide receivers are going to need those, those reps, and we're going to find out right away at Vandy if 
these new wide receivers have learned to block. Right. And if they haven't, they're not going to play for Kirby Smart. All right. Because Georgia's still going to be a run first football team, regardless of what Coley does. I mean, Coley's got a boss. Right. That boss is going to have him run the ball. You know, but getting to Coley and talking to some of the players that have been avail available after practice, have you gotten a better feel for some of the wrinkles that might be different in offense? They, in offense? they, they won't say anything. <laughs> However, they, they kind of say they expect more passing. Right. But not definitely. It's not, we're going to pass a lot more. It's we're wor possibly working more passing oh, right. and, and maybe different types of passing yeah. uh, to, to utilize some of the backs they have. And then I think, the, you know, tight ends, I think you can definitely see some situations where both of them are out there. Yeah. Uh, again, kind of compensating for that youth, that wide receiver, you know, that, you know, Charlie Warner, of course, is the veteran, but uh, Fitzpatrick is... Is, is a good, good tight end and this kid that came from Tennessee Wolf is also yep. looks good I was watching him yesterday and he probably is is the most precise route runner in the tight end room he really looks good to me and then on the you know defense and back I mean I, to me it's gonna be a lot of fun watching those guys I mean I they, they've got a combination of uh, ball hawkers guys that like to smack people mm -hmm. uh, I, I really think this is you know Kirby being a defensive back I, and me personally I think year four is when he really has that back end the way he wants and that was one of the more interesting things I took from Dan Lanning's one twice a year meeting with the <laughs> media is that somebody asked him about is it going to give you more flexibility to do some other things like pass rub? Absolutely. And I think so. Yeah. I mean, even with the defensive line, it's good. They're going to be a little more free to um, to pressure right. quarterbacks. Yeah. Um, and then I know how people, fans, always like to say, "Well, we're not going to show Bandy or some of these guys." Much, I, you know. I don't know that. I, I think, they're like we're talking about, I think they're they're. They're wanting guys to get quality reps. So yeah, they're going to play their game. They're not going to, yeah. you know, they're not going to be hiding anything. You know? Right. I mean, of course, they, offensive coordinators always have something in their back pocket, but they're going to go out and play their play their offense. And, yep. Uh, hope and and grind them up. And that's what Georgia is going to is going to grind people up with that running game. That's the plan, and they're going to do that. Right. Yeah, I mean, yeah. wear people out in the fourth quarter. Absolutely. I mean, you know, it, and then that hopefully will lead to lots of victories and maybe that rematch that everyone <laughs> thinks that <laughs> is going to happen, but there, there's 12 games before that can happen. That's, that's, that, that's, my, that's my only fear is... Uh, Every, you know, people getting ahead of themselves and remember that getting to Atlanta is not a given. It, right. You know, there's a game or two where it takes some luck. Oh, absolutely. If you go back and look at the 2000, uh, excuse me, the 1980 scores, they were, you know, people think national championship, they blew everybody out. No. no right. It, yeah. It doesn't work that way. Yeah. Well, I think that's about all I got. Anything you want to add? I don't know. It's hard, you know. It's it's hard to distill it down. But I think if 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 I had any comment about it, I would go back to the talent thing. Right about, about spring. I mean, it's, it's not spring, but fall camp. Uh, it's just so much talent there. There's so much competition between good players deep in the roster. So it's going to be a fun year. Yeah, and then I would think too. Uh, there's good continuity. I know you know, and that's funny to say there's good continuity when you have two new coordinators. But you know, I, I do think the hiring we did. I like where where we've gone, and uh, you know, I think I think we should. Bar you know, barring a, the winning the big enchiladas. I mean, you know, I think those guys might be around another year or two for sure if they. If they have a you know put a quality 
year out there. So, but they could definitely be on their way to bigger jobs too. So, sure. well, we will be back. I think what early next week talking yeah. about the the scrimmage. The scrimmage yeah. uh, it'll be fun to kind of when we do get to talk to Kirby Saturday. You know what happens now as they begin to kind of start doing some uh, real preparation for Vanderbilt. Mm -hmm. And I know whether it was Coach Rick or Kirby, you know, when those guys get to kind of make that turn, it's they're still hitting the same guys and they're still getting tired of that. Yeah. But at least there's some game plan and, and just like the fans and everybody else, you're that much closer to, to going live. Yeah. All right. We'll see you in a few weeks, or, or sorry, next week, and then in a few weeks, uh, our Georgia Vanderbilt print issue will be coming out the Tuesday of week one. Yep. Not Thank long now. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of work to be done. Thanks so much.